so there, there are two branches that we are developing. On the one hand, there is the protocol and all the innovations that we do on the protocol, like the light client scheme and the, that it's web-based and also um, the fast transactions via uh, the Lightning Network. And then on the other hand, there's the ecosystem of apps that make payments or like blockchain payments very, very simple. And um, this is less of an like, engineering task, it's more of a usability design task. And um, we'll probably have two teams, like one team is working uh, on the core, on the protocol level, and the other one is working on uh, the user-facing front-end apps, applications. Very important is we want to set a new standard for blockchain technology. Because right now the apps, ah, some of them are okay, but like none of the apps are really, really simple to use, such, such that your mom feels comfortable using them. And we want to set a new standard. We want to build apps that are super simple to use for everybody. Here this is like a simple draft or like a mind map of what's going on in my head right now and um, I try to define uh, the most important parts of the ecosystem like the other half of not the, it's not the protocol it's what people really see in the end and um, like at first there's the brand uh, the core values of the brand and um, our core values so far like the number one core value is simplicity. It needs to be simple, insanely simple. And also the next core value is, um, how you say, purpose. That we are not doing this for the money, we are doing this for the impact and for contributing something to the world. And um, to clearly state the vision and the mission, like how we want to set new standards for the blockchain field, for the blockchain community. And um, how to exactly brand our, our protocols and uh, our apps. The logo, the currency symbol, the whole corporate identity, what colors do we use exactly, what fonts do we use, what slogans do we use, what image do we want to uh, communicate. And then um, here, this is, this is very soft and this is actually tangible. And, um, the, the part of our ecosystem is just like, first the project page where you get the general infos about our project, then wallet or wallets, it could, could be multiple wallets because there are multiple use cases for the wallets. There's like customer to customer payment, so if I want to send Artur some money, we would probably use our app, but uh, if I want to pay a merchant at a restaurant or something, um, they would probably use a specific app for merchants or like for over-the-counter payment to receive over-the-counter payments. And um, yeah, what I just described is the, the case that you are paying live in person. And on the other hand, we want to make web payments very easy. The peer-to-peer -peer exchange is very important. Also in person and in the web, cross-chain, secure storage of funds. And um, what is very important for an open source project is um, high quality documentations like that you can easily get started and that you find all the information that you need our open sources and we'll develop a design language for our products to, to have a consistent design language across all apps of our ecosystem oh and then the last one is the governance of the project like we are not a company we are an open source project and we will fund uh, a foundation, not a company, and the governance of that foundation is a complex topic that we have not solved completely yet. Yeah, and this is like roughly the the process that I see for for the ecosystem, and um, like the process that I see when once we we start working with uh, product managers or product designers or like UI UX designers, and there's. I don't want to say it first because this is a process that is not linear, it's entangled. But 
understanding the domain of cryptocurrency payments is probably most important for designers. And um, then to define the market that we, are, that we want to target and the audience that we want to target. And once we have done that, we can design the, ecosystem, uh, the, the UIs for the ecosystem, then we can implement them, then we can ship them, and then we can start to iterate on all that. And also, we'll start with our viral marketing, viral guerrilla marketing. And here's just a sketch of, of the community, how I see it, that uh, we got the researchers who are doing the, the groundwork, then uh, the engineers or the developers who are actually implementing the protocol, and next to them the designers who design the beautiful interfaces, and the users interact with that. That's a rough overview of what I think about right now and how to roll that out until December. Like sometimes it's hard to film our process because um, if the guys over there research the protocol for like four hours, there is nothing tangible in the end that you could film. It's just like ideas in their head or like right, ideas right. became more clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not like tangible progress that everybody can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, this work also like we we've started uh, to interview designers and agencies and to uh, get in touch with them. And that's also progress that you cannot measure. Like right. how many agencies do you need to approach to find the right one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today uh, we had a call with a designer and then afterwards with two design agencies. And um, it's pretty interesting so far to see how they are thinking, how they are approaching the problem. and. Uh, yeah, I see a great future for our user interfaces. Uh, the newspaper, then. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming oh, with the whole team. Some attention. The whole team, really? <laughs> the, the, no, I'm saying the whole team. They're coming and they're going to do a little... They want to do some research okay. on technology we do down here on the beach. Okay. It'd be fun if you guys are there while they're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's number one. Number two, Marvin is crossing paths with Amy.